You need real-time threat detection and virus protection from online threats, in addition to the built-in Windows security. What you don't need is to pay for it. Let's get into it. I've done a video on this subject previously, and I want to address some of the comments and concerns from that video. I also want to stress the importance of following the instructions in this video carefully and not skipping ahead and downloading the software. That's what happened to another viewer, and they ended up canceling their existing service, not following the directions in the video, and setting up the paid version of this software. Now, I could have told them what they did wrong, directed them to set up the free version per the video. They didn't give me a chance. They left a bunch of derogatory remarks, called me a bunch of ugly names, and then told me to get a real job. Joke's on them because this is not my job. So I ignored it and moved on. But for you folks, I want to provide clarity so that that doesn't happen to someone else. So today, we're diving into the details of Bitdefender Antivirus Free. Bitdefender Antivirus Free Edition is a no-frills, lightweight antivirus program designed for those who want basic protection without dealing with complicated settings or slowing down their system. Key features include real-time threat detection. This means Bitdefender is always running in the background, scanning files and programs as you access them to block viruses, spyware, and other types of malware. Anti-phishing protection. This feature helps block fake websites that might try to steal your passwords, credit card information, or other sensitive data. Perfect for online shopping or banking. Cloud-based scanning. This ensures the scans are fast and lightweight, meaning your computer stays fast even during a full system scan. Bitdefender Free is lightweight. You can install it and forget about it and just let it do its thing. It even updates itself automatically, so you're always protected against the latest threats. Compared to other antivirus programs, Bitdefender uses minimal system resources, perfect for older PCs or laptops. Bitdefender is perfect for those looking for basic hassle-free protection without spending a dime. So let's talk for a minute about the Windows built-in security features because this was also a question in my last video. Before Windows 10 and 11, you absolutely had to install third-party virus protection to protect Windows. But since the release of Windows 10, there has been built-in protection and it's gotten pretty good over the years. There's definitely no longer a need for expensive third-party virus protection. I work with a lot of people in the retirement community, and the one thing I often see is those clients still paying for a Norton or McAfee subscription after all these years. No one should be paying for Norton or McAfee. They are worse than some of the malicious programs they're supposed to protect you against, in my opinion. They are terrible on system resources and offer no more protection than most of the free services available to you. The built-in Windows security is great at identifying known threats, and most antivirus programs are, because if there is a defined virus out there, there is a definition for it, and pretty much any of the antivirus software can identify and block or remove it. Where Bitdefender shines as an extra level of security is it's very good at identifying behaviors. For example, if there's a potential malicious website or program that's not necessarily been identified as a virus threat, Windows Defender could potentially miss that. Whereas I've had many occasions where Bitdefender has identified and blocked the website or program based on its behaviors. Now you still use a lot of the internal features of Windows security like firewall, etc. But adding Bitdefender for real-time threat protection to me is an added security measure. Now, would I pay for additional third-party protection? No, I don't think it's necessary. Not for personal use. In a business environment, that's a different story. In my opinion, between the built-in Windows security and the free version of Bitdefender, we're in pretty good shape. Of course, nothing is 100%. A lot of what infects our systems is self-inflicted. We've clicked on a link or downloaded a file that was malicious and allowed it 
on our computer. There are a lot of tests out there that I've seen on YouTube where people have intentionally infected their systems, ran the internal Windows security, and then came back and ran Bitdefender, and Bitdefender caught some of the malicious software that the Windows security missed. Now, I'm not going to infect my PC with viruses. There are plenty of videos out there you can watch. Before we head on over to Bitdefender free and download and set it up, I want to again stress that you need to follow these instructions carefully because Bitdefender does have a paid version. It's a very good application. It offers a lot of additional features for online security. But today we're after the free version and it is a completely free version. There is a Bitdefender free for Windows and then there is the Bitdefender paid version that you can do a free trial of and we want the free version. Let's not make the same mistake as the viewer in my last video. There's also some important settings that we need to adjust. Unlike a lot of free software that constantly bugs you to upgrade, Bitdefender allows you to turn off those ad suggestions. So I wanna show you how to do that. We'll also set up a recurring scan and then you'll be done. Once a week, your computer will get a full system scan and real time protection will always be on. It uses very little resources and it never bugs you. So let's hop over to Bitdefender's website, grab it and we'll set it up. Let's go. Real quick, do me a favor, if you're finding value in this video, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out tremendously and allows me to keep bringing you content just like this. Thank you and let's get back to the video. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go to Google and we're going to type in Bitdefender free. That's important. And it should bring you right here to the Bitdefender free antivirus for Windows going to click on the download software and again right here we're on free download for Windows when I click this the download will begin and now you can see here it's Bitdefender AV free I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and start the installation you don't need to click on anything else over here that's going to show you the paid versions. You don't need to click on anything else but here. I'm going to say yes to the user account control. And now you can see that the installation has started. Now once it reaches 100%, it might take a second to actually pop up, so just be patient. I'm getting this screen here because of my resolution. You may not see this. Okay, now I'm going to click on I read and accepted the subscription agreement. Before I click install, I'm going to come over here and uncheck the box for product reports. Make sure that your language is appropriate for you and then click install. Okay, this is an important step here and this is where a mistake can be made. This says Bitdefender is now installed. You want to skip the device assessment. So we're going to click skip right here. Here is another very important step where a mistake can be made. You need to put a name, an email address, and a password in here and agree to the terms of service, but then do not click sign in. Just click create account. Once you have a name, an email address, and a password, click on the I agree, and then click on the create account. Now, here is likely where the last viewer made their mistake. Of course, one of the other things that I just told you to be aware of could have also done it, but right here on this screen, it is very important that you click right here to continue under the free. You do not want to start a free trial of the total security. You want to continue here with free. And it tells me here that our free subscription is activated for a total of three devices and it never expires. So we're gonna click finish. And there's going to be some additional configuring here, but we are absolutely on the free version, not a free trial of the paid version. Okay, now here's some autopilot recommendations. We're gonna skip the tour. You're more than welcome to take the tour. I want to go over a couple of important settings. So first we're going to go to settings and right here you want to turn off special offers, turn off recommended notifications. This will make it so you don't have to get messages asking you to upgrade to the paid version. I am going to also go ahead and turn on dark mode. 
right here under advanced, if you clicked the check box back when we seen it earlier, product report should be turned off. For this particular program, I leave the automatic updates on. You want that to make sure that it has the latest virus definitions. Now here under privacy, there are a lot of these that are locked because they are part of the paid version. Again, there are a lot of features here that are nice if you choose to upgrade and pay for it, but you certainly don't have to. Under protection, you can see our antivirus. Real-time protection blocks any threat from running on your device. This is the important one. In addition to that, the advanced threat defense identifies suspicious behaviors. And then also we have online threat prevention. These are the three free features and they're very good. I'm gonna open up my antivirus. You can run a quick scan or a full scan if you need to. These are some other settings that if you wanted to automatically scan flash drives or other types of media when you plug them in, you can either have it to auto scan stuff or ask every time or be disabled. If you ever need to disable your antivirus temporarily, you can come in here and turn off Bitdefender Shield. Let's go back over here to scan and we're gonna set up a custom scan. Okay, so from protection, if I open up antivirus, and then down here you can see these are the system scan and the quick scan that's already set up. I'm going to edit these to run at a certain time each week. So I'm going to click on edit. And then I'm going to leave these settings the same. I'm going to click next. And then when I want to choose when to schedule this task, I'm going to schedule this to run weekly. On Sunday, let's do 3 a.m. That should work just fine. Then I'm gonna save. So now once a week at 3 a.m. on Sundays, I'll get a full system scan. Now with this free subscription, you can install this on two more devices so you can put it on your Android phone or another computer. But if you follow the video instructions, you will now have the free version that will not bug you to upgrade. And there you have it, the free version of Bitdefender for Windows, if you follow the directions and install it correctly. Drop me a comment below if you've used Bitdefender and your thoughts on it. Also drop me a comment below for any future videos you'd like me to do. Please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. That helps me out tremendously. Check out these other YouTube video suggestions. And like always, thank you for watching and until next time.